This is the Focus Isalco Max of a certain Roman Bardet, the French general classification hopeful who rides for Agi Désert La Mondiale. At the core is a Focus Isalco Max frame and forks, of course, which has been around now for some years. And it's quite a classic look when you look at the size of the fork legs and the far from oversized bottom bracket and the rest of the tubes, it does look quite classic. Also the fact that it's external cabling. So on this one, that means just the brake cable here because of course it's got ETAP on it, which means there are no cables anywhere else apart from the brakes, which is very cool. So let's get straight to the point. Why is Roman Bardet using a mechanical group set over SRAM ETAP so far at the Tour de France? Well, there is a good reason for it, because Roman likes to use a 32 tooth maximum cog here at the rear cassettes in the high mountains. And before now, SRAM ETAP would only accommodate up to a 28. However, if you look down here at this rear derailleur, that to me looks very much like a prototype. And as you can see, it accommodates up to a 32. Now this has only just come out, as is quite obvious, so it's taken Roma a little while to get used to the different feel of the ETAP because he's been using mechanical so far this year. However, we understand from the H2R mechanics that he might well be using this bike at some point in the latter part of this year's Tour de France. Now this bike is of course SRAM ETAP throughout and along with this 11 up to 32 tooth cassette, he's running the relatively standard 39 and 53 tooth chain rings at the front. He's running 175 millimeter cranks and they have got a quark power meter on here as well. The wheels currently on his bike are ZIP 303, so that kind of medium range, fairly lightweight, but also fairly aero as well. Uh, he's got a ZIP Service Course SL stem in size 120 millimeters, and he's also got the ZIP Service Course SL bars in aluminum, yet another pro that's choosing to use aluminum bars over carbon. They measure 40 center to center, and it's quite interesting the way that he's got that rake of the drop. As you can see, it's almost pointing upwards at the end, which is something I don't think I've ever seen on a pro rider's bike before. Physique provide the bar tape at the front, and they also provide AD2R with their saddles, and Roma is choosing to use an Arione 00, which I think you'll agree is an incredibly sleek looking saddle. In terms of finishing kit, we've got elite bottle cages, side entry is what they say on the side here, and we've also got the ever popular continental tubular tyres on the rims here. They are the Pro Limited 25mm version, and I don't have a pressure gauge with me, but doing the flick test, I'm estimating about 153 psi. They are particularly hard. I'm not sure if that's actually what he chooses to race on, but might just be that the mechanics have done it this morning. So all that remains to talk about is the pedals, which are the Look Kio Carbon Blade, and also this seat post, which you have seen on GCN before. It's Focus's CPX concept one with inbuilt comfort. So by that, I mean it flexes a lot, and that is because it's got two wings here. So as you can see, the finger test, which we love to do, where you can put it through the center. And as you'll see now, there is quite a lot of flex in that seat post, despite the fact that there's not that much coming out the top. Now in terms of his measurements, he's running around about 77 centimetres from the centre of the cranks to roughly where he sits on the saddle. The reach from the tip of the saddle to the centre of the bars is 58 centimetres, although it's 78 to roughly where he sits because this is a particularly long saddle. Right, how much does this bike weigh? I'm about to tell you. 7.26 kilograms. Not quite as light as I was expecting, I have to say. Anyway, if you would like to see more pro bikes, we put all of them into one handy playlist for you. And I think I can point to that now, even with holding seven kilograms with just one hand. Uh, they're all in the top corner there. Meanwhile, in the bottom corner there, you can see the latest GCN show if you haven't done so already. Back to two hands. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, it's absolutely free. All you've got to do is click on the globe.